And now to Kiambu County, where the county government has started the process of resettling vendors in the Gidurai 45 market, which had remained inactive since its inauguration by President William Ruto. The 400 million shillings market is expected to house about 1,200 Gidurai 45 traders. Kiambu County government has established a committee which consists of representatives from the area's seven markets, county officials, state department of urban and national housing officials and members of the sub-county security committee to oversee the resettling process in a month's time. The governor, Kimani Wamatangi, addressed the committee and warned against the selling of market stalls and corruption during the allocation of spaces. He further noted that they had taken account of registered traders and forwarded them to the county and national governments. Now the government will also oversee the second phase of the market construction, estimated at four hundred million shillings to accommodate more sellers. Yes. Kwa hiyo soko wamepata nafasi ya kwenda kutumia hiyo soko. Bila kusabishwa, bila kulipishwa na bila hadaiwa. Na hiyo ni muhimu sisi tuseme kama viongozi. Na kwamba the beneficiaries of that market are supposed to be the genuine beneficiaries who work identified who are documented without any charges being levied on anyone by anybody because serikali ingeripisha hizo spaces lakini sisi hatukulipisha na serikali haikulipisha na ningesema hapo ya kwamba kwa sababu kuna mradi mwingine ya soko inakuja sababu ile soko ni kidogo sana itaigiwa na watu 1000 na 179 so nigeomba wale hawatapata nafasi na hiyo ndio kitu wa matange alituambia kila mtu atakuwa kwanza auzie mahali yako ndio tukienda na phase 2 ya soko hao watu watakuwa tena hiyo phase 2 ikikamilika tutachukua wale wamebaki tena kuwaweka kwa soko